It is so important that you give your hair really good treats every now and again. Actually, you should really give your hair treats on a regular basis if you're trying to get to the next level. I'm Michelle from Fine Natural Hair and Faith for those of you who are new here. And in today's video, I will be sharing five ways that you can pamper your natural hair. Now, the first way is something that is very common that we know of, but we probably only do it during the colder months, and that is steaming. Steaming your hair has so many benefits. You don't have to wait until the winter time or till it gets cold to steam your hair. I have started steaming my hair year round, and I'm noticing such a difference in my hair's moisture levels. So definitely add steaming to your hair routine on a regular basis. Another special treat for your natural hair is mud packs. Mud packs are so great for your hair because they do a number of things. For one, they detoxify your hair, they detoxify your scalp, they help to remove product buildup. Another really great thing with about mud packs is that they also help with the curl definition. Once you've removed product buildup, I have used mud packs in my hair for you know, off and on over the years. And I noticed that when I do a mud pack on my hair, my curls really get to popping. So if you find that your hair is looking a little bit dull, try a mud pack. It can seriously transform the way your hair looks and feels. Another thing that you could do for your natural hair to pamper it is to do hot oil treatments. Hot oil treatments, just like the steaming really helps to add moisture to your hair. Well, actually it doesn't add moisture because it's an oil. What it does is it helps with moisture retention. It helps to lubricate your strands. Sometimes when you're dealing with dry hair, it's moisture is an issue, but also sometimes you need to add that oil to help you to retain the moisture. And it's maybe it's just that you keep losing moisture, but also adding an oil like olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil to your hair mask is like doing it on steroids. So hot oil treatments with steaming is another way this is just like part 3b if you want to call it that if you combine the two you will notice your hair being transformed the fourth way that you can pamper your natural hair is to extend your deep conditioning sessions instead of doing like a quick 30 minute deep conditioning session extend it to an hour, extend it to maybe 90 minutes where you also apply your deep conditioner that has been mixed with some super rich emollient sort of like ingredients like honey. You can add things like aloe vera to your conditioner, your deep conditioner. You can also add some specialty oils. Like I've started add, adding garlic oil to my deep conditioner and I do notice a difference. I've been getting it from Curly Proverbs. I know I haven't mentioned her in a while on the channel, but I love her products. I really do. I have her fenugreek oil, which is interesting because fenugreek oil is working beautifully for my hair. But if I were to use fenugreek by itself, I'd be breaking out like crazy. I don't know what it is with the fenugreek oil that it's not breaking me out. I'm thinking it is because the fenugreek is mixed with other things, so it's diluting the fenugreek some, and it's not causing me any outbreaks or any rashes. But yes, definitely add a specialty oil or a humectant like honey to your deep conditioner and extend that session. And the fifth and final way that you can pamper your hair, and you guys know I could not leave this out, even though I am really no longer doing henna on my hair because I'm trying to embrace my grays and let them grow in, it is to do an herbal hair mask. It could be henna, it could be amla, it could be a combination of henna and amla, it could be cassia, whatever it is, you can really treat and pamper your hair by whipping up either a hair mask that is mixed with herbs that you buy or one that you DIY. Either way, your hair is going to love the treatment that you give it. That's it for the five ways that you could pamper your natural hair. Let me know which of these you are most interested in trying and doing. And we'll get a dialogue going down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you and may the Lord favor you and keep you from day to day.